What's up, everybody? It's your host, Joey Gogo here. So, you just bought this game, Don't Starve, and you are wondering what all of these amazing and unique characters do. Look no further, because in this series, I'll be going over all of the characters in both Don't Starve, Range of the Giants, all the way to Shipwreck DLC. I will be explaining their benefits and disbenefits, including their unique abilities. Perhaps you can find the right character that fits your playstyle. Warning, this is just a beginner's guide for all new players, but you are still welcome to stick around, even if you're a pro. Who knows, you might find some tips and tricks that you didn't know before. Alright, starting off, we have Wilson. He is the first ever character you'll unlock when you start playing the game. Wilson has a good stable 150 health, 150 hunger, and a good 200 sanity. Neat! He is your average Joe, a gentleman scientist. Wilson has no real downsides. His only real benefit is the ability to grow a sexy, manly beard. The beard when fully grown can help you keep warm during the winter. No more annoying puffy vest that takes up your backpack slot, but you're still gonna need a heat stone to keep warm. Since Wilson's beard only delays the freezing and does not prevent it completely. However, this will overheat you a lot more fast in the summer. To negate this, all you gotta do is shave off your dirty beard. Shaving your beard will give you beard hair, which is used to make the late game structure meet effigy, which basically revives you after you die. How cool is that? After listening to this amazing guide, you're probably thinking to yourself, damn, Wilson's a sick ass character. Well, hell yeah, he is. I would definitely recommend Wilson as a starter character since he is very basic and well rounded. You can't really go wrong with him. By now you're probably wondering, Joey, where the hell did you put the other 14 characters? Well you don't have to worry about that because I got that all covered in the next video. If you're interested on watching my next guide on Willow, click here or down in the description below to watch that video. Hope you enjoyed this guide, if you did, please leave a like. It really motivates me to do more tutorials just like this one. Thanks for all the amazing support and I'll see you guys next time.